In today's video, I will teach you how to mask hair with fine strands in GIMP. Let's get started. Start by opening your image in GIMP and ensure it has clear distinctions between the hair and the background for effective masking. In the Layers dialog, right-click on the background layer and select Duplicate Layer, or you can simply use shift Control d Now we're going to convert the image to grayscale. Start with the duplicated layer being selected, then go to Colors, Components, then Channel Mixer, or simply go to Colors, then Desaturate. If you're using the Channel Mixer, make sure to adjust the settings in the Channel Mixer to enhance the contrast between the hair and the background. Typically increase the reds and greens while decreasing blues to highlight the hair strands against a darker background. Now select the paintbrush tool and set the foreground color to white. Then paint over the areas that should not be masked such as skin or areas where the hair merges with the background. Use a large brush size initially for broad areas and switch to smaller brushes for finer details. Now go to Colors, then Levels, and adjust the levels to make the background as dark as possible and the hair as light as possible. Then move the left triangle towards the right to darken the background and move the right triangle towards the left to lighten the hair strands. Now, select all by pressing Ctrl A, then copy the selection by pressing Ctrl C, and activate the original background layer, and right-click on it, then choose Add Layer Mask, and select White Full Opacity. Now click on the Layer Mask thumbnail to ensure you're working on the mask then paste the copied grayscale image into the layer mask. Then anchor the floating selection to the layer mask by clicking the anchor button at the bottom of the layers dialog. Then hide the grayscale layer by clicking on the eye icon next to it in the layers dialog. And you should now see the hair details mask against the transparent background. Then open a new background image by going to File, then open as Layers, then arrange the background layer below your mask hair layer in the Layers dialog. And to refine the mask further, select the layer mask and go to Colors, then Levels again. Then adjust the levels to fine-tune the transparency of the mask areas, making your hair strands more transparent or darker where needed. And for final adjustments, you can zoom in and use brushes or the smudge tool on the layer mask to blend any remaining hard transitions between the hair and the background. And make additional color adjustments by going to Colors, Curves, or Colors, then Hue and Saturation if necessary to match the hair with the new background seamlessly. And once you're satisfied with the result, save your image by going to File, then Export As, and choose your desired file format. And you're done. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.